Outsourcing isn't the only way Canadians are losing out on jobs. More than 300,000 foreign workers are in Canada right now under the temporary foreign worker program. They're supposed to fill jobs that Canadians won't take or don't have the skills for. But as our Ottawa Bureau Chief Jacques Bourbeau reports, it's becoming increasingly clear even to the government the program has serious flaws. This work crew has a pretty full schedule installing solar panels. The company has been expanding, but finding qualified workers has been tough. So when an experienced solar technician from Germany was available, the company snapped him up. He was able to come over and help to train our staff to get us up to speed to be able to take advantage of the marketplace that had opened up for us. The solar technician was brought to Canada under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, which allows companies to bring in workers when there's a shortage of labour. But the program is coming under attack, that it's grown too large and brings in too many low-skilled workers. There are 338,000 temporary foreign workers in Canada at a time when 1.4 million Canadians are looking for work. The increase in the number of temporary foreign workers in Canada since 2008 has occurred in Toronto, Quebec and the Atlantic provinces. All of those areas have unemployment well in excess of the national average. Companies have come to rely on this program. McDonald's tries to hire locally, but to keep serving burgers, it has hired 2,000 foreign workers, 2.5% of its workforce. There are fears the program is being abused. Last year, Ottawa created a fast-track program to bring in highly skilled workers. But the list of companies using this program includes restaurants, daycare centers, even golf clubs. Businesses are going to extraordinary lengths, including perhaps, um, you know, um, doing things they shouldn't be doing uh, through a particular program to bring workers into Canada because they're so uh, desperate. The federal government admits it's time to review the program. And we will be, in very short order, bringing forward a series of reforms that we have been developing to make sure this program is serving its purpose. Changes are coming, but companies like this one are hoping when they need specialized workers and can prove they can't find them, they'll still be allowed to look beyond our borders. Jacques Berbeau, Global News, Ottawa.